Hello folks, Jason Crispin here at JC's Bees, and today we're going to rate some hives. The only issue is, is it's raining outside, so I'm stuck here in my tractor cab for my studio today. And that works fine. Uh, it keeps me dry. You know what they say about us beekeepers? Shouldn't get wet. We'll melt. Yeah, we're just too sweet. At the end of this video, I'll explain how you can submit your own photo and description, and you could be included in this series, which I plan to release one video a month of until winter's over. And I will not be giving out names. It's up to the individual to leave their name in the comments below and say, hey, the first or the second or the third one, that was my setup. If uh, you feel inclined to do so, go at it. Oh, and please remember, in the real beekeeping world, my rating system means nothing. Mother Nature, well, she's in control, so don't think that my rating system guarantees anything. This is all for fun, maybe to help you make a local connection with somebody in your region that can give you some pointers, and we can all learn from each other's setup, right? That's what this is all about. Okay, the first colony, Central Pennsylvania. Average temp, 10 to 30 degrees with some zero degree days. Food stores. Um, he didn't really put the necessary weight to overwinter. What he put was 8 to 16 medium frames. Honey, pollen, nectar. Okay, hive configuration from the bottom up. Screen bottom board, left open. I like that. Um, mouse guard on front entrance. Three to four medium boxes with brood and stores. Winter box, which is his own design. This box is built on a shallow box. It has a 2x2 two two hardware cloth on the bottom. Setting on top of the hardware cloth is 10 pound sugar block. The sugar block has spaces around the edge to allow bees access to winter box holes for exit for cleansing flights. Box has four 5 8 inch holes. Two in the front, two in the back for moisture removal and bee exits. On top of the moisture board is one inch styrofoam insulation board. The other four holes are located just below the moisture board so warm moisture can escape. Above the insulation board is an inner cover then the lid. The outside of the hive is covered with three quarter inch foam sleeves to pr protect the hives from wind and also keep internal temperatures more consistent. They believe the slower the temps fluctuate the less chance of condensation. The sleeve has cutouts to align the vent holes in winter box. He overwinters five frame nukes, eight frame and ten frames with this setup. His survival rate is 80 to 100 percent. Note, here's a little note he included. If they're having severe winds, 20 to 30 mile, miles an hour, um, he'll slide in a mite board to reduce air coming in through the screen bottom. Okay, so looking at your setup, very first of all, I must point out how nice, neat, and clean, and uniform all of your hives look. Very nice. Um, some of the things I like. I like your screen bottom board being open. I like that you got the mouse guards on. Um, I like that you've added a sugar block. I like all the options you've allowed for upper entrances and I like the insulation on the top board. Very very nice clean looking setup. Um, I don't really have anything negative to say about your setup so with that being said I'm gonna have to give you a full 5 out of 5 hive tools. Good job! Pat yourself on the back. Okay moving on to the next one. Location, Southwest Iowa, average winter temps, 5 to 34 degrees. Estimated winter food stores, 140 pounds. Desired food stores, 160. And then he's got a note here, that's a double deep 10 frame hive on the 160 pounds. Short description, 10 frame double deep colony with 4 inch candy board with a 16 pound brick of sugar for emergency food source and to soak up extra moisture. Nice, I like it. So it's pretty much, I'm gonna guess like, uh, is it mountain camp method or did you add some moisture to the sugar block? I'm not real sure on that. But anyway, followed up by a six inch deep quilting box filled halfway with cedar shavings, 
with six holes angled upwards to help vent excess moisture with inner cover on top of that. One inch upper entrance and reduced lower entrance with bottom board. Entire hive is tilted forward for moisture runoff. Glad to see that. The hive population is very strong with the cluster filling three quarters of the lower and upper brood boxes. Planning on putting in a wind block. So I have to assume by now the wind block has been added. So let me go over some of the things I like. Um, first of all, I must point out how I love the look. I'm not sure, and if you get a chance, I would love to hear how you've got that green tinted look on the box, but yet it's transparent enough that the wood grain shining through. Very impressive. I like that look. Um, I like your candy board and your sugar block. I like the quilting box with the angled holes. Very good thinking. Um, entrance reducer, mouse guard, very good job. Hive tilted forward, very good job. Um, adding the wind block, I see is a huge plus, and I, like I said, I hope you've got that up by now. Um, as far as dislikes, I don't really have any. Um, kudos to you. Five out of five hive tools. Good job. Pat yourself on the back. Okay, moving on. Location. The Piedmont foothills of North Carolina. Middle of the state. Average winter temps, 20 to 60 degrees. Estimated food stores, 80 pounds. Boy, aren't you lucky. It's a lot less than what we have to do. Okay, in the description, I run single deeps with medium supers, screen bottom boards with inserts. Entrance wide open with half inch hardware cloth for mice. That's good. He puts a piece of drop ceiling tile in his telescopic cover for insulation. Now, that's interesting and resourceful. Good thinking on your part. There is ventilation in the top through the notch on the inner cover. And then he has uh, that he uses screened inner covers. He keeps the mites dead and leaves a Dixie towel in the back for the beetles. If the hive seems light, put on candy boards with sugar bricks. Okay, this is what I see here. Um, likes, I like your screen bottom board being open. Um, I'm a big believer in that, regardless where you are. I think air movement is crucial. Um, regardless whether it gets cold where you are or not. Um, I think that airflow coming through the bottom helps the condensation and the moisture move up and out your top entrance. That's why your top entrance is so crucial. I like the creativity you put into using a ceiling tile for insulation. Um, mouse guards, good job. I like the brush or the brambles in the back for wind block. I like that. Um, I'm going to guess that you've got kids and you let them paint your nuke. Um, I like that too. I like that people get their kids involved and, and let them participate. Um, I also love, and this ain't really got nothing to do with the, your overwintering setup, but I like seeing the livestock tags for uh, hive identification. Very, very simple idea. And uh, I'm hoping you got that idea for me, but I can't say for sure. Um, dislikes. Entrance reducer. Um, maybe it's just your, your region, but Personally, I think I would reduce the entrance down to maybe where half of it's closed instead of being open all the way across. And that's just my two cents, and maybe down there where you are, it's not that crucial. Here in Ohio, that is crucial. Um, I'd like to see your hive tilted forward. Um, that will help keep the moisture from running back in the entrance of your hive. I mean, after all, you do got the whole entrance open, so any rain that lands there um, depending on how level it is, could wick back or run back into the hive. And that's just going to add to your moisture problem. So I'd either like to see it tilted, well, I would like to see it tilted, and maybe reduce half of that entrance. But that's just my two cents. So with that being said, I'm going to give you three out of five hive tools. And that's what we got for this week, folks, on Rate My Winter Setup. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, Leave them down below. Um, I hope everybody's enjoying this series. I know it's a lot of fun to create. And um, from what I gather, everybody likes to see everybody's different setup. So that's a big plus. To learn how to submit a photo of your hive, 
it down in the video description and all the information can be found down there. And who knows, in weeks to come, I could be raiding your very colony. Thanks for watching, JC's Bees. <laughs>